an amazing story in American history. Alexander Hamilton helped create the Bank of the United States in 1791. By 1822, it was run by Nicholas Biddle, who boasted of having more power than the president, as he set interest rates and reserve requirements, owned newspapers, bought influence, and paid to elect politicians. Andrew Jackson withdrew the federal funds out of the Bank of the United States and vetoed the renewal of its charter, stating in 1832, controlling our currency, receiving our public monies, and holding thousands of our citizens in dependence, it would be more dangerous than the naval and military power of the enemy. On January 30th, 1835, in the midst of the bank war with the Bank of the United States, President Andrew Jackson survived an assassination attempt when a bearded man, Richard Lawrence, fired two pistols at him at point-blank range. For some reason, the guns misfired. Davy Crockett, who was with the president, wrestled the assailant down and disarmed him. When King William IV of England heard of the incident, he wrote expressing his concern. President Jackson wrote back, a kind of providence had been pleased to shield me against the recent attempt upon my life and irresistibly carried many minds to the belief in a superintending providence. Andrew Jackson stated in his second inaugural address, It is my fervent prayer to that almighty being before whom I now stand, and who has kept us in his hands from the infancy of our republic to the present day, that he will inspire the hearts of my fellow citizens, that we may be preserved from danger. Andrew Jackson, known as Old Hickory, wrote in a letter, March 25th, 1835, I was brought up a rigid Presbyterian to which I have always adhered. Our excellent constitution guarantees to everyone freedom of religion and charity tells us, and you know charity is the real basis of all true religion, judge the tree by its fruit. All who profess Christianity believe in a savior and that by and through him we must be saved. We ought therefore to consider all good Christians whose walks correspond with their professions, be they Presbyterian, Episcopalians, Baptist, Methodist, or Roman Catholic. Andrew Jackson carried a bullet in his body from a duel defending the honor of his wife, Rachel. She died three months before he took office as the seventh president, resulting in his niece, Emily Donaldson, filling the role of the first lady. When Emily died, Andrew Jackson wrote to her husband, Colonel A.J. Donaldson, December 30th, 1836. We cannot recall her. We are commanded by our dear Savior not to mourn for the dead, but for the living. She has changed a world of woe for a world of eternal happiness, and we ought to prepare as we too must follow. The Lord's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Of the Bible, Andrew Jackson stated, that book, sir, is the rock upon which our republic rests. America has a unique history of faith, and it's important for us to remember faith and miracles in our history.